Perth's train system has been criticised for being too slow and infrequent. It comes as a fresh campaign is launched to encourage more drivers to turn to public transport. Cars are great. But sometimes driving is a little bit... We're being encouraged to ditch the keys and hitch a ride on public transport in a new $1.2 million state government ad campaign. We have some of the best public transport in Australia, probably the world here in Perth. And we want to make sure people know about it. Transperth says 9 out of 10 passengers who give public transport a chance give it the thumbs up. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was mm. good. Mm. It, it, we got a seat. The train service and the bus service here is exceptional. So why do so many of us still choose to sit in our cars? Because I have a car bay at work, and so just flexibility allows me to get in and out quickly. When was the last time you took a train or bus? Uh, probably a few years ago, to be honest with you. To get people out of their cars, you really need to have the service being convenient, and to be convenient, it really needs to be coming in less than 10 minutes. After five years of decline, Transperth patronage increased slightly in 2018, with a million more trips taken than the year before. But that's still not enough, as the government looks to pay off its multi-billion dollar Metronet project. Cheaper tickets for travellers could also be on the cards. In particular, the amount of zones, um, when you compare it to New South Wales and Victoria, who have simplified, simplified their zone structures. What we need to do is have people pay for the kilometres they travel rather than the points they travel between. Louise Rennie, Nine News.